Okay, so I'm here near Atlanta. I'm here in Atlanta for a conference called Together for Adoption. I'm rooming with my new friend, Tesney. I'm doing my hair. Hi. Hi. Who is an awesome, awesome mom of two kids. And we will get into that later because she has an incredible story. But this, these were... Tesney and I are on the paleo diet, so this morning, these are like fake. I'm not sure that they're really even eggs. And a banana. And Sveta's egg mm. yolk is quite different. Oh, well, see, no, you, you flip, flip it. it. Flip it. Yeah. It's, it's the same. Okay. Yeah. It's they're white and yellow on one side, but yellow and white yes, on the other side. Yes, it's an side. egg substance. Hold like <laughs> <laughs> oh, on. <laughs> Enjoy your paleo breakfast. Mm. I've noticed that there's a lot of chocolate at these orphan conferences. People who adopt love coffee and chocolate. It's just a truism. Look, there's chocolate there. There's chocolate over there. You cannot escape the chocolate, and I'm going to have some. Tell me, say that you're a mom of whatever. Okay. I am a mom of whatever. See, there's more candy here. It's an awful lot of candy at this conference. Yeah. Candy, candy, candy. <laughs> I like that one. That was good. I am two a, whatever. I'm a mom of two little boys, ages six and six. Um, not twins. One is 11 days older than the other one. And you may say, how did that happen? Well, one is biological and one is adopted. So that's always fun at the dentist's office when you sign in and you yeah. put their birth dates and they're 11 days apart. Like, how did that happen? Yeah. So at Project Hopeful, I'm the director of special needs education. So we are starting to branch out a little bit from just HIV adoptions, which we have done for a while, and um, trying to educate and and encourage and enable families to adopt children with other intensive special needs. So for example, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, um, basically any kind of special need that you can think of that is a little more intensive, might require a little more support and help and education. We um, decided that we were going to adopt in 2009 a little boy who has Down syndrome and uh, it was a very difficult adoption but we um, went to Russia um, we were denied uh, Krill's adoption because the judge said he was socially unadaptable so in a lot of Eastern European countries children with special needs are warehoused um, in institutions um, when they're four years old they're usually transferred from a baby house to adult mental institutions or institutions for children with special needs which don't receive the funding and the, um, the care the children there don't receive the care that children in other orphanages receive because they're basically seen as disposable they're yeah. not um, seen as valued they can't contribute anything to the society, so why would they want to keep them is their way of thinking. So um, we were denied, and we appealed that decision and went to the Russian Supreme Court in May of 2011 and were granted the adoption, and Kirill is home now. Mm -hmm. um, when we, his gotcha day, gotcha day, he weighed 19 pounds and How old um, is he? five years old. And we brought him home um, for the last 18 months just trying to get him healthy and thriving, which he is. And it has been the most faith-building, wow. um, incredible journey. We're just so thankful for God bringing us on this journey and allowing us to be more intimate with him through the adoption of Krill. Okay, so Sparkle 21 is the brainchild of Carolyn Tweetmeyer. Should we hide her Down syndrome? And she adopted a little girl named Sophia who also has Down syndrome, who's, side note, going to marry Kirill one day. We've already got the arranged <laughs> marriage, so you guys be prepared because in the year, let's say 20, 
1932 or something like that, there's going to be a big wedding, and it's yeah. going to be awesome, so save the date. Um, and anyway, so she got to know Sophia and realized, oh my gosh, there's this whole population of overlooked orphans mm. who have this light and this sparkle. They have this extra chromosome that just gives them this amazing ability to teach you so much about Jesus that you, you can't learn from anybody else. And so Sparkle 21 came from that because there's three copies of the 21st chromosome. That's what causes Down syndrome in children. And so that is where Sparkle 21 came from. Now what we're hoping to do is educate and equip and enable and teach families and reduce the fear associated with adopting a child with special needs, any special needs, especially Down syndrome. It's not scary. My life is not scary. I'm not afraid. You know, we just take it a day at a time. And it's different and it's hard, but, you know, Jesus has taught us easier does not equal better. And that's kind of the motto that I live by now is easier does not equal better. Um, my life is so much richer and so much better than it was three years ago, you know, before I even considered special needs adoption. A lot of times I think there's this um, stereotype that kids with Down syndrome are always happy and they're very easy and docile and all that. Well, kids with Down syndrome have their own personality just like we all do. And they can be spicy and they can be funny and they can be angry and they can be happy, but one thing that they always are is forgiving. Mm -hmm. And I have never, in my experience, met a child with Down syndrome that knows how to hold a grudge. Aww. So I can be working with Kirill and make him mad when we're doing physical therapy or whatever, and he will be just so mad at me when we're, you know, mm -hmm. working on things he doesn't want to work on. And as soon as I sign, we're all done, we're finished, he gives me a big hug and a big kiss and you know, lets me know that he loves me, and, you know, a lot of kids might kind of be mad at you for a little yeah. while, but kids with Down syndrome just have that innate ability to just forgive and love like Jesus. You know, the Bible says that the least will be the highest in heaven. It doesn't get any more least than kids with special needs who are literally dying from ear infections because they're not considered valuable enough to give medication to. They don't want to waste mm -hmm. the medication on these kids that can't yeah. do anything um, in their mind. And so, you know, we feel like the least of these, that's who Jesus would go after. Mm -hmm. That's who he would be yeah. fighting for. That's who he has a special heart for. If you'd like to know more about Sparkle 21, Project Hopeful, adopting children with special needs of any kind, you can go to www.projecthopeful.org. You can also visit my blog at www.riesopened, and with my southern accent, I'll go ahead and spell that for you, O-U-R-E-Y-E-S-O-P-E-N-E-D dot org. And right. you can learn all about Down Syndrome, Adoption, and Project Hopeful there as well. Oh, here's a little story of a mom and dad. She's no Angelina. Yeah, and he's not Brad. We're raising lots of kids from all over the world. Three bad boys. That's who meets the girls. Sam and Andrew, it's important to mention, were born in New York City via two C-sections. Matea was adopted in 2005. She came from Guatemala. She had a chicken alive. Ethiopia called in 2008. Adopted three siblings, Jared, Ella, and Grace. Adopted again in 2011. Ella came from Ukraine. Now we have 